How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Master and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Glad to see you again. If it's your first time here and you're looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, you have come to the right place. So think about hitting that subscribe button below and hit that little bell notification right next to it so you know when I'm putting out a new video. Today we're exploring the award-winning Kings County Distilleries Bottled and Bond Straight Bourbon from Williamsburg, New York. Since I grew up in New York for most of my life, I was eager to check this one out. All right, guys, so a little bit about Kings County Distillery. Uh, Kings County Distillery is New York City's oldest and largest whiskey distillery, the first since Prohibition. Founded in 2010, Kings County makes handmade moonshine, bourbon, and other whiskeys out of the 119-year-old Paymaster Building in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. They use New York grain and traditional distilling equipment to make distinctive spirits. Now, Kings County's whiskeys are mashed, fermented, distilled, and aged on-site in Brooklyn and never sourced from any other producers. Uh, first located in a 325 square foot room in East Williamsburg, Kings County began as the smallest commercial distillery in the country, with five 24 liter stainless steel stills making whiskey seven days a week, 16 hours a day. Now, since they were starting to make a name for themselves in 2012, the distillery moved into the Paymaster Building in the historic Brooklyn Navy Yard, just steps from legendary site of the Brooklyn Whiskey Wars of the 1860s and the former distillery district on the waterfront. Now, with traditional copper whiskey stills fabricated in Scotland, wooden fermenters that were built locally by Isaacs Brothers, and a corn and barley patch at a small farm on site, the distillery is a model of sustainable and traditional whiskey production and one of the preeminent craft distillers in the United States, having been named Distillery of the Year in 2016 from the American Distilling Institute. So as you can see here in the close-up, guys, one of uh, Kings County's more well-known offerings is their award-winning Bottled and Bond Bourbon. Bottled and Bond whiskeys are distilled, aged, and bottled entirely at one distillery from barrels filled in one season by one distiller. The whiskey must be four years old and bottled at precisely 100 proof. All right, guys, so here's a close-up of the uh, really simple, laid-out uh, Kings County Distillery bottle. This is uh, straight bourbon, bottled in bond, made from New York State organic corn and malted barley from the UK. It's twice distilled in copper pot stills and then aged in new charred oak barrels. Uh, so this is New York local ingredients, plus all in-house craftsmanship, plus awards. Uh, should be a pretty amazing bottle of uh, bottled and bond bourbon. So uh, let's find out. So let's uh, unscrew the screw cap here. It's got the bottled and bond tax stamp. Uh, let's pour it out. It's got a nice color to it. It's pretty dark. All right, let's put that back on here. Um, all right, let's find out how good this stuff is. Here we go. All right, guys, so as this is opening up a little bit, remember, this is 100 proof. It's a bottled and bond. But it's $65 MSRP for this bottle, and it's only a 375 milliliter, which uh, you know I, I think takes a lot of guts to price it like that, uh, being a craft whiskey, especially when you can get these well-known bottled and bonds for a lot cheaper, and you get more whiskey. But um, it's a you know it's an award-winning craft whiskey. Uh, they put a lot of care into it. So uh, let's check the color first. Um, this has a actually a really nice dark color for a four-year bottle and bond. You can see it's picked up a lot of color, a lot of influence from the oak and the barrel. It's got really, really great viscosity, uh, especially for a four-year, really sticking to the glass well. I can actually smell the nose from here. I haven't even really stuck my nose in it yet. So let's go in for the nose and see what we got. Wow, super fruit forward on the nose on this. Wow, a lot of apricot and peach right off the bat. Really nice. It's almost like a, um, there's a lot of uh, toffee on this too. So, you know, think about coating a, uh, think about coating a peach or an apricot in caramel and, uh, you know, kind of cooking it down, getting it really nice and caramelized. Really nice nose. I'm not getting too much of an alcohol kick on this for a 100 proof bourbon. It's really not bad. I mean, you really have to stick your nose in there. But again, this, this opened up for a good amount of time, but I, f I feel like if you really stuck your nose in as soon as you poured it, you'd probably get hit with a good amount of alcohol. But the, the caramel and, the, and that orchard fruits, those apricots and peaches, maybe a little bit of apple, they are just punching through in a big way here. Mm. A lot of caramel, butterscotch, 
Really, really nice nose, very inviting. I gotta say, on the nose, it's definitely got my attention. All right, guys, let's go in for the palate. Cheers, here we go. Mmm. Okay. It's definitely got a, a good amount of oakiness to it right on the front. There's the 100 proof. I'm feeling it there on the finish. Gives you a nice little burn there. Some brown sugar right off the bat. The, the, the apricot I was getting on the nose has kind of turned more to an, uh, to an apple flavor. But let's go in for a second sip and see what we get. Mmm. Okay, so wow, the second sip was much better than the first. It almost got darker and richer. Now I'm getting a really nice, uh, uh, a really nice raisin flavor on there, like a dark raisin. Mmm. Definitely still getting that really big, nice punch of butterscotch. The uh, the apricot, maybe peach flavor that I was getting on the nose, maybe that's turned into more of an apple. Apple, apricot, maybe like a candied apple, caramel apple, I should say. Really nice on the flavor uh, on the palate. Really, really good. All right, let's go in for another sip here. Okay. All right, so now the flavors are leveling off now. And what you're kind of left with after a couple sips now is really that apple, brown sugar, and caramel flavor. You're getting that kind of chocolate raisin note kind of more on the finish. It's really nice. It's, it's becoming a little bit lighter as you sip on it, you know, as most whiskeys do as your palate gets used to it. But it's really about the flavors that stick with you that, you know, can really determine, you know, what kind of flavors um, that you like in a bourbon. And for this, it's really that butterscotch, the apple, that really nice chocolate raisin flavor that's staying there. It's really good. The, the alcohol isn't really affecting me too much. It's, it's really got a nice finish. I would say it's more medium. Um, I wouldn't put it in the long category at all. All right, guys, let's go for one last sip and talk about the finish here. Mm. Yeah, it's, this is a really nice bourbon. It, what's happening here really, as your palate gets used to it, the, uh, the corn sweetness and those caramel flavors are right, right up front in the forefront. But then it just really turns into a nice, sweet, fruity experience. You're getting the apples, the peaches, maybe some apricot in there. There's a lot going on. It's kind of like an orchard going on uh, on your palate. Then it goes dark for a quick second when you get that maybe a little bit of hint of chocolate and raisin note in there. Uh, and then the finish, um, it's finishing with a really nice balance of the sweet and the, and the oak, the American oak. It, it's really nice. The one thing I think it might be going against it, it's, it, it kind of drives you out a little bit. I think the astringency in it, the 100 proof, you, you definitely, as, as I'm sipping on it more, it, it's coming to the forefront more. It's definitely drying me out a little bit. But other than that, the, uh, the flavor profile on this, it's, it's really powerful. And I think it's an, an impressive um, bottled and bond bourbon. All right, guys, so in conclusion, this is a really delicious bottle and bond bourbon. Um, the flavor profile in here is it's deep, it's dark, it's rich for four year bourbon, bottled and bond, it packs a lot of flavor. It actually took me back a little bit to the Four Roses 130th anniversary bottle that I had. Um, I know there was some much older bourbon in there, but it's more along those uh, deep, dark, apricot, um, peach flavors that I was getting in that that reminded me of, uh, of what the flavors I was getting in here. Uh, so in that regard, it's delicious. Now, can you really justify the price of a $65 bourbon for half of a bottle of a normal size bottled and bond bourbon? Uh, I don't know. It's a highly competitive market nowadays. Uh, you have to be competitive. So it's hard to really justify the price point to, for me to say, hey, go out and grab this. Um, if you're a craft whiskey enthusiast and pricing is really no factor for you, uh, definitely go pick this up. I think for a four year a bottle of Mon Bourbon, you'll really be impressed with this. But if pricing is a factor, uh, I think if you kind of stick with your, uh, your favorites, the McKenna early times, one of my favorites, even the Evan Williams, uh, I think it'll be just fine, but um, I will say that this has a lot of flavor and it is, and I was very impressed with the flavor that's in this bottle. 
All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this review of Kings County Bottled and Bond Bourbon. I really enjoyed it, really delicious craft bourbon. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't yet, please find me on Instagram. Also, please find me on Twitter. Love talking with you guys. Let me know if you've come across this or if you've had this bourbon before. Let me know what you think. And uh, with that, as I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It is the people you share it with. Cheers, everyone, and happy holidays.